so in this video hello students in this video we are going to see how to solve the question which is given in the basis of intercepts so the x intercept and the y intercept of the given lines are positive values and their sum is 7 if we add those intercepts we will get 7 and the line is passing through the point minus 3 comma 8 so it is a very simple question so here we are using two intercepts the intercepts x intercept and y intercept so if two intercepts is coming what what was uh, what was the uh, what is the formula that we have to use so we will use the formula x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 these a and b are two intercepts x intercepts and y intercept so let a and a comma b are x intercepts and y intercepts respectively so a and b are the two uh, intercepts of the line and the line is passing through the point minus 3 comma 8 so if the line is passing through this point if we substitute this value for x if we substitute these two values for x coordinate and y coordinate the first one is x the second one is y it will satisfy the equation here the final answer those two values will satisfy this equation for not only for this this straight line for any straight line if if you are taking the point if you are taking the point on the line the x coordinate and y coordinate will satisfy the equation of the line okay a and b are the two intercepts so their sum is the given their sum is 7 so the inter sum of the intercepts is 7 so b is can be written as 7 minus a or a can be written as 7 minus b we can we can write a or b we can find a or b then just we are going to substitute so then substitute this value in equation 1 substitute b is equal to 7 minus a in equation 1 you just substitute this value so x by a plus y by 7 minus a is equal to 1 then this line is passing through the point this line is passing through the point minus 3 comma 8 so these two values will satisfy this equation so x coordinate minus 3 by a plus y 8 by 7 minus a is equal to 1 then do the cross multiplication so after that what you have to do you have to do the cross multiplication and you have to simplify this equation definitely you will get a quadratic equation so you have to factorize that quadratic equation and you have to find the value of a you will get two values so for that two values we have to find the two different values of b then using that we have to find the equation we will get two equation so okay we will see minus 3 into 7 minus a plus 8 into a by 7a minus a square is equal to 1 you understand cross multiplication here we did so then next multiply this minus 21 minus minus plus 3a then plus 8a is equal to 1 into this here it is in division so 1 into something 
सेवन ए माइनस ए स्क्वायर अब टेक ऑल दी स्टैम्स टू राइट हैंड साइड सेवन ए माइनस ए स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वेंटी वन माइनस थ्री ए माइनस एट ए इस इक्वल टू जीरो इधर लाते हैं अंगत कोण बैठे हैं इट इज़ जीरो सो व्हाई वी आर टेकिंग ऑल दिस वैल्यूज दिस साइड इंस्टेड ऑफ ब्रिंगिंग दिस वैल्यू टू दिस साइड इधर वी कैन टेक ऑल दिस वैल्यूज टू दिस साइड और वी कैन दिस इज़ आल्सो वी कैन टेक माइनस ट्वेंटी वन थ्री ए प्लस एट ए माइनस सेवन ए प्लस ए स्क्वायर दैट इज़ आल्सो करेक्ट दिस इज़ आल्सो करेक्ट इट इज़ गुड टू राइट लाइक दिस बिकॉज एपये इन ए क्वाटिटिक इक्वेशन द फर्स्ट टर्म द x square term a square term the highest power must be in positive so here it be, it is in negative so we are bringing these two values this side and we it's we are making them uh, we are changing their symbols to bring this as a positive term okay then how many a square a square then how many a terms are here 8 plus 3 11 11 minus 7 Plus four a. All these terms are like terms, so we are simplifying this. Four a minus twenty one is equal to zero. So if we multiply here a square a constant, multi multiply if we multiply we will get minus twenty one, and their sum is plus four. What are those three values? What are those two values? Seven three sub twenty one minus twenty one. So the seven plus minus three. Understand? So these are the two numbers. So a plus seven, a minus three is equal to zero. So a plus seven will be zero, or a minus three will be zero. If a plus seven is equal to zero, a is equal to minus seven. A is equal to zero plus three plus three. These are the two values of A. So if A is equal to minus seven, which implies B is equal to seven minus A is equal to minus seven, fourteen. So B is equal to fourteen. If a is minus seven, b will be fourteen. If a is equal to three, which implies b is equal to seven minus three. Seven minus three, four. So b is equal to four. So these are the two different values of two different values of a and b. So if A is equal to minus seven, and B is equal to fourteen. If A is minus seven, B is fourteen. Then, then the equation is. So now, what we can do? We can substitute the values of A and A B in this equation. So x by y minus seven plus y by b is equal to one. Then we have to simplify. We have to do the cross multiplication. I will continue here. So you can in your note you can write one by one. So fourteen x minus seven y by Seven fourteen sir. Minus ninety eight is equal to one. So forty x minus seven y is equal to minus ninety eight. Fourteen x minus seven y minus ninety eight is equal to zero. All the terms are divisible by seven. 
टू एक्स माइनस वन वाई हाउ मेनी सेवन सर नाइन्टी एट फोर्टीन सेवन सर तो माइनस फोर्टीन इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज द रिक्वायर्ड इक्वेशन ऑफ ए स्ट्रेट लाइन सिमिलरली दिस इज वन इक्वेशन इफ ए एंड बी आर दीज टू वैल्यूज If a and b are these two values, we have to find another equation. E, if a is equal to minus seven, uh, a is equal to three, and b is equal to four, x by a plus y by b, a value three, b value four, is equal to one. 4x plus 3y by 12 is equal to 1. 4x plus 3y is equal to 12. 4x plus 3y minus 12 is equal to 0. So these are the two equation of the straight line. So watch this video two times. You can understand the concept easily. So in your uh, textbook. There are two exercise questions are given based on this question. So they will give the passing through the point, two po one point they will give, they will give, and here the sum of the intercept is seven. So we are writing a plus b is equal to the same method we are going to use for that question also. Those questions also a plus b is equal to seven because the sum is seven. So in your textbook they are they. They have given in the exercise question. Their ratio is ratio is two is to five. So how you have to write? So for this two is to five, a is to b is equal to a is to b is equal to two is to five. Therefore, a by b is equal to two by five. A is equal to two b by five. So you have to write the formula. Instead of this, you have to use this, and you have to substitute the values. So then you have to simplify. Like this, two values you will get. Then two equations you have to find. Then in one more question, they have equal intercepts passing through the point. Like this, one point will be there. Then they have equal intercepts. A uh, equal. Equal intercepts. A is equal to B. They will give. So you have to write x by a plus y by b is equal to one. X by a plus b is equal to both can be both are same. So y by a is equal to one. Then you have to substitute, uh, substitute the passing through the point. One point will be there. Passing through the point minus eight comma four. So For x minus eight, for y four, then cross multiply, then find the value of a. Like this, two values you will get. Then using a, b we can find easily because a and b are same. So like this, you have to uh, solve the exercise question. So this is the example question. Using this pattern, you have to solve the ex exercise question. In the exercise question. The difference is these points will uh, they will give instead of sum is seven they have they have given the ratio is two is to five and equal intercept in the ratio is to five two is to five you have to take the, this condition as a is to b is equal to two is to five instead of the sum of sum is seven कुर्तर करना ला a plus b seven नर्तम ratio seven ratio वंदे two is to five कुर्तर कांगा so a is to b is equal to 2 is to b uh, 2 is to 5 nadukanum equal intercept nu koduthirukanga innor samla adukku vandu a is equal to b nu eduthukonu so similarly a very simple method watch this video one more time one time two times then you can understand the concept then apply this concept to solve the exercise problem thank you